Hi, this is John Sanchez, also known as Web Dev Master, and I'm bringing uh, this show to you uh, today to talk about uh, your website. And uh, the show is brought to you by System Innovations and also PCAddicts.com, which I'm a proud member of. Today we're going to talk about, so you have a website, and you know people are going to your website, but you have no idea how many people are coming, what pages they're looking at, and a lot of times you can get that information from your uh, your web hosting provider. And depending on the logging software that they use, uh, some of them use Web Trends, some t some of them use Log Analyzer. There's a whole myriad of of different one tools out there, um, but I found one. Um, that I really really like and I'm also a web hosting provider and I use I've been using in the past uh, 123 log analyzer um, which is really really quick but I am shying away from that now and leading towards Google, Google Analytics Google Analytics is an awesome tool it's free and you can put the script in any website and then you can go online and view your website statistics and I'm going to just run you through a brief tutorial on some of the things they have in it. So I'm going to switch now over to my screen and basically you're going to go to google.com uh, slash analytics and then you'll be prompted to sign in. You have to have a Gmail account. So I'm going to sign in and it's going to show you a list of all the sites that you are currently uh, monitoring. And I'm going to go to uh, this site called TheBigGiveBack.com. It was a website that, uh, just a real quick website that we did for a radio personality, Jay DeLay, here in Charlotte, um, because they were gathering food and clothes uh, before Christmas so they can take it to the women's shelters and uh, the men's shelters and so they'd have food and clothes. Uh, it was a really uh, great cause and uh, they had tremendous turnout. So one of the options here, I'm going to just go back because this was during the Christmas season, I'm just going to go back and set my date during the, during the holiday season so we can view some statistics and what you'll see here is over on the left they'll give you the dashboard and I can click on visitors here well, let me go back to the dashboard the dashboard is really really nice it just gives you a quick snapshot of uh, some of the key statistics like they had 200 visits in that time frame they had 676 page views uh, the people averaged three pages per visit and there's your bounce time, average time on site and percentage of new visits and you can see they peaked on the 18th of December and I think they were really promoting it hard on the radio station and a lot of people went to the site but now I can drill down further and, and get more information um, about each day I can come and view how many visitors came. So 49 visitors came on December the 18th. And I can just keep viewing these statistics by day of how many people came. And you can see up here that it averaged 11.76 uh, visits a day. One of the other really, really neat things that um, I like is page views. Not page views. Sorry, uh, browser capabilities. If you click on browsers, what it will do is it will show you who who came to your site and what browser they were using. So, out of the 200 visitors, 170 of them were using Internet Explorer. 24 were using Firefox. Four were using Safari, and then one and one we're using Mozilla and Netscape and then they have a graphical representation of that as well 
So it, it's very interesting to see, you know, who's coming to the site and what browsers they're using. Another uh, very nice, uh, you know, they'll tell you the operating system that the people were running. Most of them were running, 186 of them were running Windows, 13 of them were running Mac, and one was running SunOS. So there's a lot of different options, and you can just go down into them and uh, and view those stats. Another uh, interesting statistic here is, and I'll just bear with me here. traffic sources. If you want to see how people are getting to your site, whether they're coming directly to your site by typing in the URL, like www.thebiggiveback.com, or whether they're coming from search engines, you can look right here and you'll be able to see. So I'm going to click on referring sites and I can come down here and see that a TV station had a link to the site. Another uh, website did. Uh, I had a, a link from my website. And there were some other ones that came from, looks like, from email. So you can see where those, where the referring sites were coming from. Also, you can see if anybody was typing in, uh, like, the big give back or whatever in the search engines. And you can see how many search engines actually sent people to your website. This is huge because you want to be able to know how people are getting to your site and you can tweak your keywords and see, you know, if people are coming to your site, what were the keying in to find you on Google and Yahoo. So there's a tremendous amount of things here that uh, that you can view uh, from a stats perspective. This one is really, really nice. This one will tell you, so I have my page views, but this will tell me that how many people went to what pages. So to the home page, I had 231 people. Then I had 89 people go to the events page, 80 people go to the ways to give page, 78 go to the about us, and 69 go to contact us. So this is really important because it can help you understand where people are coming into your site, where are they leaving, and it also tells you the duration that they're staying on those pages. So if you have a compelling page that you want people to go to and you're not getting them to get to that page, you may need to uh, put it in a different place, have, have it on the nav bar, just come up with some creative ways so people can get to that page that you want them to see. And this will help you determine, you know, what pages are people mostly going to? So, this is just a real brief overview. They have some uh, they have some tutorials out there uh, that you can view. It is really really simple to add a website uh, to Google Analytics, and I'll show you that right now. The way it's done is you just come down here and click on Add a Website Profile and then you type in your URL name and then you would hit continue. Well, let me not use PC Addicts because I know that Christy is going to going to do this possibly. So, I will do another one. And then I'm going to click on continue. And what it does is it basically gives you some script right down here that you just need to include in the head tag of your of your web pages that you want to track. Once you put that script in, you can always come back here to Google Analytics, sign in, and you'll be able to see all your stats. One thing that's important to know is they have the legacy tracking code, which uses this urchin.js, and the new tracking code. If this is a brand new site that you're putting to Google Analytics, make sure you use the new tracking code um, because they're going to be adding more features to it. So basically you just copy and paste this text 
in your head tag in your HTML page and then you will be able to have the power at your hands to view who's coming to your site and what they're doing.